Welcome back and thanks again for joining us here on this uh, Wednesday evening. Helen had some clouds this morning. Nice afternoon and now some clouds are moving back here with a little shower. It's trying to push across the uh, capital area. 64 degrees another day with below average temperatures. Great Falls, what a great sky here. Fair weathered, friendly, puffy cumulus clouds out there. 66 degrees, still quite a few degrees below the average high of 69 here for today. Some 70s up across the north central northeast part of the state. A little cooler in Lewistown, a few more clouds there and a little cooler in the southern part of the state. A lot of that uh, snow melting around uh, the Beartooth Mountains here. And then also a lot of snowpack in general, just uh, beginning to melt, beginning to release some of that uh, water that's been locked up in the higher terrain. Speaking of water, a couple of showers, a few thunderstorms look like uh, down there around Elk Park, Interstate 15, a couple of lightning strikes there. It's kind of nice to actually see some lightning strikes and not worry about uh, wildfires, at least this point of the year. But a couple of showers again coming across. This looks like this shower is kind of diminishing. Uh, as it uh, moves over the uh, valley area down there closer to Park Lake, maybe a little shower redeveloping a lot of Great Falls area as you just saw looking very pretty. A couple of showers across the Judith Gap area and the big snowies with a little snow all the way up on top of the big snowies. And then we had a couple of showers up into the extreme northeast part of the state. But overall, pretty nice first day here in the month of June. Some showers and thunderstorms from the Gulf Coast all the way up into the northeast. Here's what will happen. A few of these showers again, generally on the light side, will continue southwest, south central Montana here through this evening. And notice even through the overnight hours, just an isolated shower uh, around the western and central part of the state. Tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy skies, we'll have a few showers around the Helena area, and some of those may come up off of the Rocky Mountain front up into parts of Cascade County. Uh, but uh, tomorrow, not a lot of activity, shower and thunderstorm wise. That will change though as we go into Friday. Even a couple of showers as we go through Thursday night into Friday morning here. But watch what happens later into the day. Going to have a little bit of some rain off of uh, the Rocky Mountain front of the East Glacier area. But look at all the little thunderstorms that are starting to develop around 1, 2 o'clock into the afternoon. They mature to some pretty big thunderstorms that may impact again parts of uh, Cascade County out through Judith Basin County eventually reaching the Lewistown area look at Bozeman Helena could have a shot at a couple of showers and thunderstorms as well climatologically May and June the wettest two months of the year here for a lot of the state and that trend uh, will continue and will uh, be true here with maybe all the way through the next seven days you can see more than an inch of precipitation. A lot of the High Line could use some. It looks like definitely have some wet weather here across uh, a lot of the state this weekend into early next week. So, going to keep it going. And again, it's welcomed because not too far away from wildfire season and some really hot temperatures and, you know, those dog days, dog dry days of summer. Things do start to dry out a little bit Wednesday and Thursday of next week. I mentioned freezing temperatures. Forget about it. Not just tonight, but also over the next several weeks. So our chances, the odds of actually having temperatures, unless you're up at 8,000 feet, down to the freezing point, really diminishing here tomorrow. A couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms in the western part of the state may be reaching Great Falls, but probably will be dry up there. For Friday, a better chance for showers and thunderstorms in the western part of the state. And then we get into the weekend. A lot of green here on the map. Showers, thunderstorms, some steadier periods of rain all the way through Sunday into Monday. Northeast Montana will be a little drier, though, uh, here. Not a lot of that precipitation making its way up into that part of the state. But, yeah. Rain, showers, thunderstorms across a lot of Montana as we head through the first week of June.